Hi everyone, it's Peter here. I am so happy to see you. Not that I can see you, but you can see me. And I'm just sorry that I haven't really been filming much since we moved house. I'm just feeling really pregnant. And since the beginning of January, we've had like one person sick after the other. And we're just recovering from colds at the moment. And then before that, all the children had gastro all through the last, well, yeah, like all of January. Anyway, I thought that um, I would do a bit of a vlog. It's afternoon, good afternoon. It is about three o'clock and Luke has just left to pick the kids up from school and kindy. And yes, they are going to a Christian private school this year. There are so many reasons why we have sent them to school, but I guess the um, biggest reason is just, I guess I just, just I need help. <laughs> so simple as that, I need help. Um, I need help with their education and sending them to this school has actually been a really huge blessing and though I still love homeschooling I just feel so blessed that they even are able to go to this school and there's some really lovely teachers there and the principal is also really lovely and he's a really strong Christian man and we went to their chapel service at this school last Friday and it was just so nice to see a whole hall full of school children singing worship songs and it was just amazing like um because i went to a public school and i never seen anything like it i've never seen a whole room of school kids singing worship songs so that was just awesome so anyway we've been out all morning to um a bible study at our new church that we've been attending so um, that was really good and I just felt like oh, I have too much to do to go to Bible study and I just thought well <laughs> that probably means that I need to go to Bible study if I think I have too much to do because um, you know that's more important than all the stuff at home that I need to get done you know like cooking, cleaning, washing, shopping, all the usual sorts of things that I need to get done plus extra stuff to get ready for the baby but yeah it is important to just stop and fellowship with other Christians and um, just sit together and read God's word and it was really encouraging time and I'm glad that we went so um, it just uh, we didn't really get home until like an hour ago and then I ate like a late lunch yes okay I was just gonna stop talking now I'm going to show you what we're having for tea tonight. I'm making the brown gravy stew from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. Sorry, it's actually from the Trim Healthy Table cookbook and it's been cooking. The um, Has anyone else's um, like settings rubbed off and the screen gone all funny on their Sunbeam slow cooker? Um, yes, don't mind eggshell plate. Um, so mine has all rubbed off so I actually had to go look up on the internet where the high, low and keep warm settings are and I have to just guess what number that says um, because it is broken but it still works it's just these numbers in the screen that is broken so I've been doing some freezer meals for after our baby's born um, our baby's due in about two weeks and four days <laughs> So this has been simmering since this morning, but it's still got a fair way to go. It smells so good. And because um, we're a large family, but we're actually like a small family when it comes to meals because all my children are under the age of nine and they don't eat a lot at mealtime. Like Luke and I, we have a fair bit. So that's amount should be enough for we'll have it for tea tonight and then I'm going to put the rest away in the freezer for another meal after the baby's born so, so what kind of a 
person are you? Are you a messy person or a clean person? I've just been thinking about how everyone has their own sort of style and their own kind of standard that they like to keep up with and keep their house like presenting. Um, I know some I know some people who love to have a clean house and their house is always clean and always tidy because they love that and they're good at that and they prioritize that. And I also know some people that their house is an absolute pigsty, <laughs> but they are just the sweetest people and I love them so much and they don't even care about the state of their house. They're just so relaxed and they, it doesn't bother them and it, like, it really, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, they still, they still clean, but it's just messy and they, you know, they just don't care. So I was just thinking about um, my sort of style and I reckon I'm probably about somewhere in the middle. I like a tidy home, but compared to some people, my house is must be so messy and dirty. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of people living here making mess, but um, the some people, doesn't matter how many people are living in their house, they still keep it really clean and really tidy. Like, they're going after their toddler with a vacuum cleaner, like, cleaning up as their toddler walks along like no I'm more of like a procrastinator like you know later is good time and so sometimes my house can get pretty messy and then it'll bug me so bad that I will just go and clean up the whole thing and I've never been really able to get into a good cleaning routine um, even though I have one, I actually have a new cleaning routine because I'm always trying to be more tidy and always trying to clean more and get into cleaning because I really don't like cleaning. I'm more into cooking. I always prioritize food and the laundry and the cleaning just, you know, it gets done. Sometimes it gets done. Sometimes it doesn't get done. It doesn't really bother me. When things get busy, cleaning is always the first thing I drop. I'm not talking about like wiping the kitchen table or the benches, like we do that heaps. Or like I sweep under the kitchen table a lot. But I mean like deep cleaning, like bathrooms and floors and things like that. Um, I have a certain day each week where I'm supposed to do it. But if I don't, I'm just like, yeah, I know. Never mind, maybe next week. So, um, and you know, I was just thinking that we just need to be ourselves and not feel like we have to have our house looking like someone else's. We just need to be happy with who we are and the way God made us and our own personalities. We all have different personalities. We all have different cleaning styles. We all have different abilities capabilities like right now I'm really pregnant and I can hardly pick things up off the floor <laughs> so right now I'm definitely not doing as much tidying up as I would when I am not pregnant and I'm my fit regular self so I'm just thinking that if you're feeling like you're not measuring up to someone else's standards like stop stop trying to measure up to someone else's standards because you don't want to do that you want to be yourself and you want to be comfortable in your own skin and your own house and if your house is messy or your house is spotless just be happy um, with who you are and the way God made you and your personality and this little talk is me procrastinating cleaning up my really messy house right now so I'm probably going to stop talking and maybe tidy a few things up and wipe a few tables and yeah so <laughs> yes coffee beans coffee beans coffee beans this keeps me alive bye bye what are you reading about willow Willow, what are you reading about? What's that? 
chapter one, chapter one. Remember, remember. each one to your mind. Come on, come on, by Molly C. Tommy, Molly C. Carly C. I love me. Can you know? Can you see? Things you do when your wife's pregnant at 37 weeks. You buy banana stuff. I gotta go to the shop right now and get banana bars, bananas, ice cream, chocolate, the panna stuff. It's dairy free. It's been a big day. I'm pretty tired. I've been out all day. But you don't say no to someone who wants that much banana stuff who's about to have a baby. So we're gonna go on a little trip to Coles and get some stuff. Tired dad stuff when you have almost six kids and you're tired, the work goes on. See you there. Well, just finished shopping at Coles and I've got the things you buy when you're a tired dad and you've had a big long day and you need to go to the shops yet again. We have Chippy, more chippies, some kind of fruit thing, ice cream, chocolate coated raspberries, and banana bars. So this is Luke signing off. Like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. If you want to see more Goddard family, you can follow us at Two Punks Had a Bunch of Kids or Goddard underscore family on Instagram. Don't forget to smash that like button. Leave us a comment below. Hit the bell notification so that you do not miss any videos that we're uploading. Pregnancy update coming soon. This is Luke signing out and falling asleep. Bye bye.